my name is Josh Sears. I work with Northern Lights as a lineman. On April 19th, 2021, we were working on a storm that come through, getting people's power back on, and just got to a spot where I was checking some of the equipment, and it looked like it was damaged. And so I just reached down to check it and got shocked at that point. I was struck with 7,620 volts. Customers just hardwired their generator lead into their electrical panel and did not turn off their main breaker. The electricity is flowing back from the generator back up to the line. The transformers boosting the volts back up. I, I thought I was grabbing a part of our setup of devices on the pole that wasn't energized. It went in my fingers. There was a big flash and it felt like somebody was um, driving a needle up my fingers. But when I touched that, I touched it exactly together at the same time and I was able to let go. That, that doesn't happen. You don't walk away from that. You're a statistic usually. My skin could have been just sizzling at that point, in a sense. I have four kids, four years old to 12 years old. So I was looking at my gloves afterwards and the holes were still in the gloves. You look at the holes and you can think, you know, what kind of hole it would have created. You know, for your kids. When it comes to things that could have been prevented, there was a step that should have been taken. Ultimately, it's brought an awareness on some things that need to be changed as far as generators go. I hope that we see people doing the right thing with the generators because there's only going to be more generators. We've got to do it the right way. We can't keep doing it halfway. If we're only doing it halfway, we're putting people in danger. Improperly installed emergency generators are dangerous to you, your family, your neighbors, and all of us linemen at Northern Lights. Please consult a qualified licensed electrician for assistance. Thank you for keeping all of us linemen safe at Northern Lights.